hello everyone so today we are going to work on this invisibility mode and when I am in the invisible mode the AI characters will not be able to see me so if I disable invisibility you see I am getting started to detect but if I go visible see once I go invisible I am no longer getting detected you can see the detection meter right so yeah that's what we are going to work on today enable and disable clock and how AI characters how to make AI characters blind to the cloaked character all right So yesterday we worked on this invisibility clock. So as you can see the character becomes invisible including the weapons and everything and if I disable the invisibility the character becomes visible again. So we can toggle it. So at the moment we haven't implemented any way to limit this ability. Uh, so the next thing I want to do is even if I am in the invisible mode the AI characters can see me because this is just a because this is just a material change not really uh, affect the AI system AI perception system and that's what we are going to work on now by the way this is the video we worked on the visual part you can refer to that in the channel so um let me this is the ls player character let me browse to the asset and open this ls anime and how does the detection work let's go to ls npc it has been some time that I worked on these parts, so I don't clearly remember. Well, let's open the AI behavior tree. Right here, we have the detecting part. So, so this is when detecting. All right let's open the AI controller here we should have that okay uh, inside here on C player detection part is here okay so this is where the detection happens but yeah so anyhow I couldn't find a proper way to unregister from the perception system I saw this suggestion that suggests to add the stimuli source to the character and unregister it so I tried that but it didn't work so here is it I added this AI perception stimuli source to the character and then auto register as a source added AI sense sight but then when I enabled the clock I tried unregistering from the perception system but that solution did not work for me so see even if I am in the clock mode the guy over there starts seeing me see I am getting detected so that solution is not working so let me revert that by the way I did this without recording because it's not working so I didn't want to uh, waste your time so the next I'm gonna try some a bit dirty solution what I'm gonna do is just hide uh, just literally cover the character with some object so where should we do that here I'll 
create an actor I'll call it AI no vision blocker BP vision block okay now and then here I'll add a cylinder mm, like this uh, I'm not sure how but well, let me place this next to a character and see how large it has to be okay it has to be a bit larger so I'll make it one point five size right this should be enough now I'll uh, attach this cylinder to the player not the cylinder the vision blocker Let me drag and drop under capsule. Where is it? Okay, it's like this. Uh -huh. Let me move it up to cover the head, and also we should. Got custom collision, ignore everything and block only visibility. Right now, let's test this. Here, yeah. if I make a whistle, now the enemies don't see me because I'm blocked, I'm not visible. So I'll Here, remove the visibility of this cylinder and then by default we should make this object does not have collisions. So, right here, now we will not see the cylinder around us but it's still there so the characters will still not see us see okay now here we have this uh, toggle invisibility clock function uh, for the npc for the ALS and in man but this uh, visibility uh, AI should only affect the end player character uh, or is it no because player can also have allies that go in the cloak mode so they should also be invisible for other AI characters so therefore we gonna have to have this vision blocker for any character who adds this who goes into this um, clock mode so I'll remove it from here okay let's make keep it simple let's when the character goes into the clock mode just here after this part let's Born actor from class and the class is pp vision block try to adjust always spawn ignore collisions okay then let's attach to actor parent actor is self so a vision blocker will be spawned and attached to 
the character who goes into the clock mode. So let me promote this to a variable vision block block. I'll put this under clock. Right. Location. Snap to target. Rotation. Snap to target. Scale. Keep word. But I think I had to give an offset of 20 to properly block the head when the when I attach the object here. So I let that offset here. The cylinder. All right. Now here, when we disable from the clock mode, we can get vision blocker convert to a validated get to be safe and set lifespan. Point one, so it will be destroyed and the character should become visible to AI characters again. Right, shall we test this now? So let me run here. Yeah, I am getting detected. Okay, now let me enable clock mode. Now let me whistle. I am not see visible. See, if I disable clock, why I should be visible now? Why am I not still invisible? Let's see. Uh, do I still have the blocker? Let's keep the visibility for now so that we can see if it is destroyed or not okay press 4 again oh it didn't go away why is that So if this is not working, what if we simply set collision enabled, set actor collision enabled to true to false. So this should make the character, uh, this should disable getting blocked from the AI vision again. So to test that. Let me enable. Now I don't see, but if I disable, no. Oh, wait, here we have a problem. We are doing this. This is wrong. We should only call this part after the completed. We had connected it here, so we must be spawning um multiple times this sector i'm sorry so yeah now it should work if i press 4 you see the cylinder appears if i press 4 again it disappears okay so now we can in uh, disable the visibility of this because now we know for sure the system is working here yeah. if I press 4 now I am in the invisible mode if 
if I whistle, they don't see me. But if I go back to visible mode, see, now I'm getting detected. Okay, so that's the that's the only working solution to disable temporarily disable getting detected by AI characters I could come up with. Let's test again. Let's wait until someone start detecting us. Perhaps that guy who's coming over there. See? If I go invisible, I I am no longer visible. If I go visible, I am getting detected. Invisible, not detecting. Visible, detecting. Okay. Alright, so I'm gonna stop this episode right here. In a future episode, I will uh, address uh, some ways to limit this invisibility clock duration because it's uh, it can easily overpower the player and it will break the game. So thanks for watching. As always, project files will be available for the download in the Patreon page. Link would be in the description below. And if you like to support my work, you can get the membership of the Patreon Club. See you in another episode. Goodbye.